fancy kicking back for a relaxed afternoon with bird poop on your face? How about Prada simmering on your back or treating your feet to a pedicure which uses a scalpel? Do they enrage? Razor TV reporters Erica, Sarah, Brian and Po Kwan hunt down some of the most mind-boggling, weirdest spa treatments right here in Singapore. How weird does it get? Stay tuned for the verdict in this eyebrow-raising special. For most of us, the bird poop is something we wash off our cars or even ourselves. But some women are willingly putting on bird poop on their faces. What am I talking about? Find out on today's rage. Geishas and posh spice swear by it, and now you can try the bird poop facial for yourself in Singapore. Also known as the geisha facial, this beauty treatment involves slathering your face with a mask made of nightingale droppings. But before you squirm at the thought of people tracking down a gazillion birds and scraping their droppings off the floor or car windshields, the poop is thoroughly sanitized before it reaches your skin. Ikeda Spa Director Eric Tan, who started offering the facial at his spa in January this year, explains. In Japan, there has been a nightingale farm mm. that is being set up specifically to harvesting all these uh, nightingale mm. droppings. Okay. And all these nightingale are actually caged mm. and they are fed with a diet of like organic seeds. Mm. So after they harvest the droppings, right, mm. um, they are being dried up using a dehydrator mm. uh, and being sanitized using the ultraviolet lights. For over a few days, mm -hmm. and then they are being ground into very fine powder. In fact, Victoria Beckham is reportedly a fan. She said to have stumbled upon this beauty secret on a trip to Japan three years ago. Now, nightingale feces is part of her regular beauty regime. But what's so great about bird poop? The nightingale dropping actually contains high concentration of urine and guanine. Mm. So urine is actually a common ingredient being used in like skincare products. Mm. They probably use daily. Mm. Um, it helps to actually reduce like water loss mm. through your skin epidermis and retain moisture mm. and it accelerates your skin regeneration process mm. and one uh, particular benefit of it is it actually helps other products, the like ingredients of other skincare products to penetrate better within your skin surface. Guani is actually a form of like ammoni, amino acids mm. with bleaching qualities um, and it actually creates that shimmering effect, so give that glowing looks in your skin. Okay. So uh, it it kind of like have a light chemical peeling actions, but without the redness okay. and the burning, so that it give you a fairer white skin tone. Apparently, buttering up with bird poop is a new. Geishas have been using nightingale droppings as a makeup remover since the 16th century. Back in the old days where geisha usually put on very heavy makeups mm. and uh, they contain lead and zinc mm. which is quite harmful for their skin. They're having problems to actually remove the makeup so at that time there isn't any like makeup remover. Mm. So um, they found out that actually the nightingale dropping uh, actually helps to remove the makeup mm. and over time they see that their skin complexions getting fairer and smoother. So since then it has been a traditional uh, beauty routine for the geisha. Mm. and it has been passed down since then in Japan. At $240 for a 90-minute session, the facial also includes a neck and shoulder massage. So far, 800 people have tried the treatment at Ikeda Spa, with Singaporeans making up about 40% of these customers. There's a lot of like Singaporeans who actually came forward to our spa. Mm. Just knowing us that it's a Japanese spa, they want to try our signature facial. Mm. And uh, Geisha Organic Facial is one of our signature facial. Uh, and it's something special that you cannot find elsewhere. So after hearing all about it, I set out to experience the facial for myself. But first, a quick whiff of the droppings. It's quite musky. <laughs> <laughs> we will be mixing with the rice bran so it will actually cover up the smell. Mm. And then off we go. First my face was thoroughly cleansed and scrubbed. Then the nightingale droppings, mixed with other ingredients such as rice bran and water, is applied onto my face as a mask. And to help the skin absorb the mask better, the paste is massaged into the skin for 5 minutes. Following that, a second layer is applied with chameleon oil, which is known for its hydrating properties, and left on the skin kept under a cool facial steamer. And for folks wondering how it smelled like, 
I too was initially worried about the pungent odour of the droppings, but after it was mixed with other ingredients, I couldn't detect any unpleasant smells. In fact, the facial mask even had a sweet scent that smelled like, of all things, rice crackers. So the verdict? Not so scary after all. As for the results of the facial, I will leave you guys to judge for yourself. Are you up for more weird spas? Next, Sarah enjoys some prata, not to eat, but as a massage. <laughs> <laughs>